amazing year for just all kinds of TV stuff, you know, games, films, TV, por porn is good, but there's obviously things we'll avoid from the list. So basically, we're going to take a look at top 10 or top 3 of many of these different kind of things, including films, games, uh, well, we did films before, but all kinds of stuff. Hey Tom, what's up? Not much, Adam. Well, I'm just hanging out here in the kitchen. We're about to do the uh, the award show for Three Four Gaming. Yeah, I think we're doing top threes, people. So we're people, yeah. we're we're going to be covering TV shows, top TV show, and, uh, and many gaming platforms. Yeah, PC, games. PS3, PS3, and the others. Yeah, all the rest. Yeah. So let's hope the audience enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed this conversation <laughs> and the multiple takes it took to say this. <laughs> Hello guys, so to kick things off, we're going to look at Xbox Games of the Year, and the nominees are Rise, Dead Rising 3, and Forza Motorsport 5. And the winner is... Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3, yes. Talk about Dead Rising 3, Luke. Dead Rising 3, what's to say? We've already done a video on the uh, walkthrough. It was uh, amazing. Amazing, Alan's great commentary skills. We just kept talking about Tom. Um, you're, you're a great subject. <laughs> yeah, um, an improvement Dead Rising 2, because... Uh, it's very limited in the mall, which is quite boring after a while. And now it's in Los Peridos. Peri... Uh, Peridos. Peridos. Yeah. Um, I mean, playing with a friend is much more fun. Playing with a friend can be fun. Much more fun. Right. Yeah, let me continue. This one was quite difficult to do anyway, though, wasn't it? Was it was difficult to I would advise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would advise as well, but... Uh, but somehow... <laughs> Alan's dictatorship, but we yes. did decide Rise was a bit of a short campaign, it's a bit linear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whilst yeah, with Dead Rising you sort of play forever and just do what you want. And Forza 5 is very limited to racing. Racing. <laughs> yes. Very very limited to it. It is just If a you like game. cars, well, you'll love the you'll game. Love Forza 5. Yeah. But no. The possibilities aren't really endless whilst it, you yeah. can drive. Yeah. Next up is PlayStation Game of the Year. This includes both PS3 and PS4, that's... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> nice to <enough. laughs> Welcome, man. So, <laughs> the nominees are Beyond Two Souls for the PS3, Killzone Shadowfall for the PS4, and The Last of Us for the PS3. And the winner is... The Last of Us. No surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah, that was... That's that's because that net wasn't including the combinations. Net was looked pretty shit. Look like shit, so you like, yeah. <laughs> the Last of Us was an incredible game, easily one of my favourite games ever made. You haven't played it, so fuck you. And I watched the whole Let's Play on YouTube, it meant that much to me. Pretty much. I did play it as well. I played it, I didn't complete it though. Great, well, there goes my expertise. But it's, <laughs> it's an amazing game if you have a PS3, uh, get it if you have a PS4, <laughs> well done. But um, it's our game of the year for the PS. PlayStation. PS PlayStation. Yes. <laughs> no, it's my game of the year for overall. It's, it's my game of the year overall, but we're not doing that category. So it doesn't no, matter. but if, if we were doing that category. If we were. And considering that our channel doesn't include anything PlayStation. It's yeah. a pretty good result for PlayStation. Hang out PS2, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've got to catch a couple Our game of the year <laughs> is Battlefront 2. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk about the other two quickly? Just oh, about. yeah, right, yeah, probably talk about <laughs> Beyond Two Souls existed. It was like a PS3 game, and it's a uh, successor to Heavy Rain. You basically just walk around as a woman, and all of the issues woman. she faces about once a month. And then we have <laughs> Killers and Shadow 4 for the PS4, which is the biggest kind of PS4 game that you can get because it was a launch site when you could shoot. Well, that oh, well, it's between that and Knack, and I'm pretty sure between that and Knack, and you can stop talking about Knack. Knack now. is. Wow, sorry. Wow, that's it's nice. not really between yeah. them then, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, it's between Killzone and Knack, because Knack's shit and Killzone's That's the only two exclusive PlayStation games that come out on launch. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Alright, let's start PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's uh, move on. Now, guys, we're going to PC games. So, top three of them, we have XCOM, Enemy Within, is the expansion pack. I know it's an expansion, but it does sort of add a lot to the game, and the original game was pretty damn amazing to start with. Uh, so, yeah. That was a good, very good one. Apart from that, we have Rome 2, the Total War franchise, probably, I'd probably say the biggest franchise for PC. It's strategy at its best. So, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, and what else is. Uh, and Battlefield 4. We know it's not exclusively PC, but it's probably best on PC. That is, if you can afford the best of the best of PC. Uh, though it is, of course, going to be pretty fantastic on next gen, and something that you will see in our channel. 
Um, so out of them, I think the winner must be Rome 2. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Who can believe it? Just because it is. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, not as if I. I might have picked up a bit too much on the uh, choosing. <laughs> but yeah, Rome 2, fantastic game for PC. It maybe could have been Battlefield, but just because it's it's going to be on every platform, or is on every platform, it's. Okay. Yeah, that's, it can't really be the best PC game when it's also on it? Xbox. And you also haven't played it. So. <laughs> I've played it. I've played, I only played on Xbox. I haven't played on PC. Uh, so very exciting stuff. This PC game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've we've played played it all. We've with lots of experience. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah <I'm laughs> <surprised soon>. <laughs> <laughs> I named three PC games. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Rome Two, just because it's just, just so much better than every other Total War game in my opinion. So. The yeah. only the only con, I agree. the only con of the Total only War is that's not on Mac. Yeah, and Mac uh, guy. <laughs> Luke being a Mac up guy now is uh, he's crying right now. You can you just can't see it. Yeah, crying. So yeah, that's PC section. And moving on. Right, guys, and now cross platform games. So the nominations are Bioshock Infinite, GTA Five, and Tomb Raider. So, uh, yeah, so... Basically, we're going to be discussing what the best game is, and obviously it's GTA 5. So, <laughs> you think it's uh, Tomb Raider? Or do you actually think it's Tomb Raider? Oh, uh, I, I, I voted for Bioshock, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Tomb Raider, yeah, Tomb Raider. Um, one of the most best graphical games in the uh, old gym, we have to say now, 360. Yeah. Um, Although it is coming out on the Xbox One. It is releasing one, at so the end of this You'll be month. able to see those breasts in the highest definition. On the Xbox One, which I was sure to record. Um, definitely be sure. I'll watch it many times. I'll watch my it many own. times in my secret place. Well, I think um, we'd probably do overall agree GTA, GTA 5. 5. Yeah. So the winner is... <laughs> which is the only one of the three I've actually played. We need to see GTA 5 at the same time. The winner is... GTA 5! Fuck you! <laughs> No, no, no. GTA 5 was amazing, obviously. It got a bit boring after a while, but when you first play it, it is an incredible game. Uh, but it is 18 or over, so don't buy it if you're 12. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's uh, cross platform done. Let's move on. Okay, so we are all very much into TV shows, both Alan, Tom, and Luke. I remembered your names. And we're basically going to be deciding what the best TV show of 2013 is. And this is going to be the series that came out during 2013. My vote, of course, is for the best one. Uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, uh, we, we had a bit of conference because I did, oh, Breaking Bad, of course, is up there. But I think Game of Thrones is probably best. Game and I think... Yeah, oh, I love Game of Thrones. Uh, You've got to vote for something else. Like, that's I vote for Game of Thrones. No, 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 we'll say, Walking we, Dead was number three. In but we, we all do love Walking Dead. It's it's a great, great series. But it's just... But who won? Well, uh, I think we'd probably say Game of Thrones. Game so of you, Thrones. Still, you still don't think so, I believe. Walking Thrones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones is too Game of Thrones time. one, but it should have been Breaking Bad. But listen, Game of Thrones is amazing. I haven't seen the third series. Oh, the third series is just amazing. No, I yeah. still my series two is still my favourite, but series Probably, three is yeah. really good. Yes. Better than series one. I just uh, didn't like the fact that Sean Bean died. Well, 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 uh, so, uh, yeah, but... Uh, An intense TV show. I'm okay with Game of Thrones being it. Walking Dead, maybe not so much. I wouldn't have been okay with that. Right, Doctor right. Who wasn't that good this no, season. I love so Doctor could've... Who, but, I um, mean, you have Dexter as well, which was, we were thinking about. But those weren't as good this year. This year, but Dexter's been good about. collectively. I'm a big fan of Supernatural, but that's <laughs> never going to get Yeah, let's forget about that. Well, I, <laughs> I also started watching Fringe recently, which is pretty good. It's alright. Let's forget about that as well. So, <laughs> Breaking Bad should have won Game of Thrones is the 3-4 Gaming television show of 2013. Well done, no. HBO, you'll get your trophy never. Not too much of a surprise, really, soon everyone's probably considered to say Yeah, this, everyone yeah. thinks Game of Thrones is better than Breaking Bad. Uh, well, Breaking Bad's probably always going to be second or so, Always, always first, second best. Always. First, actually. Right. Finally, the last part of this show, we'll be doing Best Villains of 2013, and the nominees are... The Governor from The Walking Dead. Card from Star Trek Into Darkness. And Joffrey Baratheon from Game of Thrones. And who do you think should win, guys? Well, actually, let's not say that. That'll be a bit weird. We know the answer. The governor. <laughs> do we? <laughs> the governor from The Walking Dead having a stellar performance in the season of The Walking Dead that I haven't seen, but he was good at. He was great. <laughs> he had weird zombie brains in oh, jars or something. And the eye patch came into. And free. We, we won't put a spoiler out because he hasn't seen it. But of course, he's a lot more focused on the governor. The governor. 
and you find a lot more about him. It's just fantastic cat adventure. Joffrey, what were you guys at? He's, oh. an he's the biggest prick on the planet. Yeah, Joffrey Baratheon. Uh, he's the person you love to hate. He's such a good bag. You've never wanted to hit a child. <laughs> I say that, maybe Carl in uh, Walking Dead. But... Yeah, <laughs> yeah you really hate children in these things. I'm sure it was annoying in season four. <laughs> Yeah. And, and we got Khan as well, obviously. Yep. Cumberbatch. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my favourite actor at the moment. As well as Matt Smith. She's responding. Like, yeah, but yeah, it was, he's amazing in that film. Into Darkness was the three, four gaming movie of the year. You didn't know that, Tom. And uh, <laughs> so basically, the winner is. Are we going to say it? Yeah. Khan. Khan. Or John Harrison. <laughs> Fuck off. Khan. <laughs> Gets our villain of the year in the hotly contested, exciting category. I can feel it fizzing in my brain. <laughs> of best villain of 2013. Well done, Khan. We will send you our award via spaceship. Maybe lost in the post, but maybe I lost in the post. Galactic post is hectic <laughs> these days. Okay, so right. That was it. So thank you very much for watching this video. We've enjoyed talking to you. Well, not Luke. Luke's very annoying, but we've had a great time today, and if you disagree with anything we've said, then as I've said before, just keep it to yourself, because I don't want to hear it. Uh, Luke, Luke, do you have anything to say before we... <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Before we go? Do you want to dedicate this to anyone? No, no. Alright, <laughs> 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 alright, and if you want to comment, keep it positive, or don't, any comments... Oh, fuck off, yeah. Comments are good. Like, share, comment. We need more support. So yeah. And the uh, giveaway. Are we get to win that. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to do a giveaway after this. We'll do that in the kitchen. Oh, we're, oh we're going to go into the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> we're going to go into the kitchen, and I'll be in the kitchen. Tom will be recording. That's more like a PS. <laughs> Tom will be Keep recording. Keep classy kitchen. kitchen. So guys, as you found out in that video, uh, I'm the proud owner of a Mac. Well oh, done, Luke. And uh, as a result, well, I did play a lot of Total War. So I've got two Total War games on Steam, which I can't play Mac. Which I'm willing to give away to Steam users, obviously. Which games are they? Uh, it's Empire Total War and Napoleon Total War. Because they're the, two I can, the newest ones I can run on my. Uh, they're yeah, also, to a lot of people, the best ones. Uh, a lot of people do consider them to be the best well, ones. Well, uh, surely those people that will consider them to be the best ones, but I don't know. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> so, to enter into this giveaway, you're going to want to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment with. Like your your suggestion for a certain category, put the category in it, and then the suggestion, and also subscribe to us so we know that you've done so. For example, if you wanted best TV series, you put best TV know. series number one and Supernatural. If, if for some reason. Or Fringe. Yeah. No. Yeah. Or Doctor Who. Yeah. Or Doctor yeah. Who. Or what your favourite game was, your best Xbox game, whatever. So yeah. Like Remember me for Xbox games. Yeah. So that's it. A bit. Do that, and you can get yourself some of those games. Yep, free games can't complain. So, uh, yeah, that's free. Till next time. Till next time. Till next time. Shut up, buddy.